asked Monica, what made you fall in love with Dan? And Monica said, you know, Dad, he's cool. <laughs> and being the generation that we are, we don't understand the meaning of he's cool. <laughs> Honestly. So I asked her, exactly what do you mean by cool? You know, Dad, he chills. He's a chill guy, you know? <laughs> yeah. He said, no, he's a good person. He has a good heart. I feel comfortable with him. He loves me and I love him. And when she said that, I said, that's good enough for me. I always used to tell her there are two things very important to me. One is be a good person. And the second thing is, I want you to be happy. Life is too short. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. For seven lifetimes, right babe? <laughs>lot of these speeches they focus on like how somebody changed the second they met somebody and with Monica there really isn't a pre and post Dan one because he's so cool <laughs> but but actually I think of it it's because both of them became more of who they already were he found someone to create these stories with who's building her own foundation who is also fun and patient and resilient and ambitious. When we went on our first date almost five years ago, after you lost your car keys and your phone battery died, I remember thinking to myself in the Uber ride home, man, this guy is so cute and really charming, but he is so disorganized. I never told you this, but I very clearly remember thinking to myself, this would be such a cute first date story to tell at our wedding during our vows. Thank goodness we got past that first date. And here we are, getting married, and I couldn't be happier. You are my best friend, my confidant, my biggest fan, my partner in crime, my biggest challenger. But most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I ever thought possible. I wish I could stand up here and promise you the world, but it's not mine to give. What I can promise you is my world and all that that entails. I promise to respect and cherish you as an individual, a partner, and an equal, knowing that we do not complete, but complement each other. I promise to seek a deeper understanding of your wishes, your desires, your fears, and your dreams. I will support you through your misfortunes and celebrate you with your triumphs. I promise to treat you with compassion rather than fairness because we are a team now and forever. Almost five years later, my heart still flutters every time I see you. It is hard to imagine a day without you by my side. And now I'm so lucky that I won't have to. I choose you to be my husband, my Southwest companion, more importantly, my life's companion, my favorite, my best friend, my always, and my forever. My wish is that today is a signpost one of many good memories you've created, one of many good memories you've yet to create. My hope is that we can savor these moments and we use them to continue to try, strive, explore, and, and engage with the world.
And my dream is that for all of us in this room, that we can collectively draw strength from the community that you create. So I wish you all the best. You have all our love. May they have children who make them proud and whom they may be proud of. May they always be surrounded by people who love them and whom they love. Cheers. Thank you.